All right, family, we getting ready to cut up this chicken, okay? I'm gonna go through this uh, sharpener first. Oops, I my cooks cook first. Anyway, I'm gonna sharpen this knife a little bit. I forgot which side you're supposed to go first. So I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, I did it right. The right side first, and then it's the left side. So okay, cool. So we got our knife ready. So we get ready to cut up a chicken, family. Okay. I'm eating mint and chip ice cream. Then we're gonna. These here are just chicken wings. And I'm just gonna season these guys up with the rest of the chicken. And they're gonna eat these too. So. I, I cooked the whole family size pack, but I didn't want to cook two whole family size packs, so I cooked one and a half family size packs. So that was just the extra that was left. Okay. Anyway. So here we go. Let's get this on deck here. So we can take this shit to the next phase. Okay, and now on the split chicken, what they do is they just split it down the center of the chicken. And you have to cut off the legs and the, the thighs and cut your breast meat up if you want that and all that other shit. So this is what we get ready to do. Okay, because this is the way it comes. All they do is they just split the damn chicken down the center. You got the idea. I mean, you know, you got the idea. So, but when you're cutting a chicken, the first the first piece that I always cut is when I cut off the leg and the thigh, and it's a joint right here. You can see the indention. So you just pretty much follow your, uh, follow the little diagram, you'll see it. You'll see like a cut in the chicken, like a little indention. And in that indention, that little cut, that's where you, Cut that out. And just like, okay, like here, it's like an indention right here. Right here, you see it. It's clearly visible. And then that's where you cut that leg and thigh a loose. Okay? Uh, and just like with the thigh, with the wing, break that guy off like that, go right between those joints. You go between the joints. And the joints is clearly visible. I know you're probably not able to see it on this angle or whatever, but you clearly see them. Okay, now on this, the back and the breast is connected. So we're getting ready to cut these two guys apart. My mama used to love, love, love the, 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 the back of a chicken. Guess that's some old school shit, you know what I'm saying? That's some old school shit to eat the, to eat the backs of the chicken and shit neck and all that shit but you know i fried up anyway because i fuck with it sometimes i mean oh y'all excuse me i don't want to do no cussing on here but yeah sometimes i'll mess with it too but uh um now here's the breast i don't cook no whole breast like that first of all my kids ain't really into no breast no way Cut through this breastbone. I got the wrong fucking knife. Let, let me cut this bone off of here first. Cut this breastbone off of here.
Okay, so instead, we got two pieces off that breast. Now we're back on this other side here. Cutting between the joints, you clearly see the, the you see your landmarks. And when you cut off in a joint, the gristle and none of that should be cut. It'll all come off together. Now on this leg and thigh, again, it's a joint right here. You clearly see it. You see your landmark, so you just cut right in that joint. I wish I had a whole chicken to show you guys a little bit better, but I mean, y'all get the idea anyway. But you know, believe it or not, there's a lot of women that don't know how to cut up chicken, you know? And I'm not saying that it's sad or none of that like that, but hell, if you just wasn't never taught, you was never taught, you know what I'm saying? Now see, just like when I cut this and loose like that, there's a clear cut, that means I was in the joint. And you just cut the breast off the back, break it all up, just cut it like that. Believe it or not, though, it do be some good at some good meat on that. Uh, it do be some good meat on that back sometimes, cause like on this back, this back um, got some good meat on it. Should I eat this myself? See, now if you really want to get fancy about it, you can cut this in half and make that two pieces. But I'm going to just leave it like that. I'm going to just leave it like that. Um, but yeah, so on this breast, I'm going to cut right through that breastbone. Last one, I was trying to cut the breastbone off, but get it. Okay, here we go. Now, all of our chicken is cut up. I don't like this. Let me bring this fucker off. Okay, now, um, we got our chicken. One thing about chicken, when you cook them with chicken, you got to really, really be careful because this is some salmonella and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So when you cook them with chicken... And fish, you got to be real clean about yours. And see me and my dishwater, this dishwater here has bleach in it. So as I'm wiping up, when I pull out my uh, rag right here, it got bleach and stuff on it. So even though I really didn't touch the countertop too tough with the uh, chicken, but still, you know, I wipe it down a little bit with that uh, bleach water. You know, because you just don't want to be cross-contaminating and having your family sick and all that kind of stuff. Because you done gave them some stuff that was messed up. So we're getting ready to season up this chicken, like the last time. And what we put on our chicken when we fry it, we put seasoned salt, black pepper, garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic powder on the chicken. Um, I'm going to crack two eggs in here and I'm going to seal this up and I'm going to let this marinate for a while and then I'll fry it after I get back from my doctor's appointment. That's how we're going to do that. Okay, so now our chicken is all clean and all that good old stuff and um, let's go through here and Get our little condiments of what we're gonna put on our chicken. Seasoned salt, black pepper, garlic powder. Now, lemon powder, I mean, excuse me, lemon pepper. I buy lemon pepper as well, let me show you. But lemon pepper, I use this primarily on fish. Now, we're gonna make some um, Simon croquettes and some smothered potatoes, you know, like home style potatoes. Um, perhaps we'll cook that tomorrow because, you know, my family love chicken. I mean, what family don't? So this probably will be probably wore out by tomorrow. Um, because trust and believe my kids, they come in and out constantly grabbing a piece of chicken and running with it. So I know tomorrow, whenever I fry chicken more times 